Lauren Ritchie from Awful TV, sponsored by Bill Murs, and today I'm joined by Bette Midler and me. Hi, how are you feeling today? Great. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. going it's going really well, unexpectedly well actually. So what brought you to Edinburgh for the fringe? Well, um, we have this rather beautiful um, show and um, I've been to Edinburgh for, before. I did a show about Sophie Tucker, who ironically was a massive mm-hmm. inspiration to Bette Midler. She was this great sort of uh, Jewish vaudevillian huge star and she inspired Bette Midler. So we did a show about Sophie Tucker, which went really, really well. And uh, we thought this would be a really interesting show to bring up here and try out on your unsuspecting audiences. (laughs) So what is the show exactly? Well, the show is called Bette Midler and Me, and um, it basically um, is about Bette Midler, and it's also about me. It is not... I am not um, imitating Bette Midler. It, it is not a sort of, you know, it's not like some, it's not a drag act. It's about the parallels between her life and my life. And Bette Midler was a kind of, is a kind of extraordinary maverick character who started out as this sort of bizarre outsider. And, um, you know, I think reflected a lot of women's lives really and just burst onto the scene and created a fantastic kind of havoc and we talk about that and we also talk about how I was inspired as a performer by by Bette Midler um, because there weren't that many role models around for people who didn't specifically fit in and um, that's what's so kind of interesting about Bette. Well, apart from the fact she's got an amazing voice and um, she's a really interesting, really kooky actress. And is also, <clears throat> she's been a sort of a great activist in terms of gay rights, um, in terms of she's very, very into ecology now. But she was just this amazing sort of cult figure, particularly amongst the gay community, actually. Um, she was completely inspirational. Uh, she didn't she didn't give a shit you know and she just did her own thing and did it brilliantly and better than most people so what was the moment in your life when you first discovered Bette Midler was that a song was that a movie oh I was I was a teenager when I first discovered Bette Midler and um I suppose when we're teenagers we're all kind of looking for role models Mm -hmm. and I just came upon her by chance a friend of mine gave me an album and I heard it and I thought, this is so interesting. And because on her albums, there were a lot of her stand-up acts as well as her singing. So not only did she have the most amazing voice, you know, she was listening, she was sort of singing brilliant Kurt Vile songs like Show Me The Way To The Next Whiskey Bar. And then she had within her stand-up acts all these fantastic, outrageous characters like Dolores DeLargo, who was a sort of paraplegic mermaid in a, in a in a wheelchair and she'd come on you know get the audience to look her over from the waist down and play a game called spot the clitoris i thought this is the woman for me you know she's terrific the show consists of myself a fantastic md called sarah travis who um top female ND. Sarah's a Tony Award winner, so we are so lucky to have her. Her arrangements are incredible and beautiful and really inventive. And a great young actress called Alex Young, who has to play lots of different parts, including Barry Manilow. The songs in the show are very carefully chosen. They're not random. A song has to tell further the action, tell her story, tell my story. And they're very specifically planted in order to do that. Well, thank you so much for talking pleasure. to us today. It looks, it sounds like a must for any bit middle We've had great reviews and great audiences. Yeah, five star reviews. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Fantastic. where can we catch it? We are on at the Gilded Balloon at 9.30 every night at the nightclub. So please come. This has been Waffle TV.